Hey everyone, Graham here from Loudwire. This is HR from the legendary Bad Brains. And this is the new book, Finding Joseph I. Awesome, awesome read. Uh, I learned a lot of things in this book that I didn't know about yourself, about the Bad Brains. Uh, one of those is a band called the Thunderbirds. Can you tell me a little bit about the Thunderbirds? Yes, sir. The Thunderbirds was the first group that we were in. Uh, when we, it was about 1964. I was about nine years old, nine or ten years old. But we gave it a, we gave it a try, and uh, the kids loved it. So that's what we decided that we do keep on trying our music. The PMA uh, thing actually happened by sort of accident, just happened to be because you picked up a certain book from a shelf. Can you tell us what happened there? It taught me formulas and different attitudes to take positive mental attitude, to stay on the up and up with things and don't let it get you down if you might have an adversity. Turn it into a winning, winning sort of um, process. And so that's what I would do, and it worked. Yeah. yeah. What is it about that? Uh, which which book was it? That first book that you picked up. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Yeah. What is it about that book that spoke to you so directly? Well, it Napoleon Hill talked about prophets, Jesus and Gandhi, and these prophets of his had a special message to give to people and. That helped us to understand, and so we did it. And uh, it eventually led us to the Holy Bible, and we began to read the Bible and um, use that as an attitude or one of the best ways to inspire the audience and be inspired at the same time. Throughout this book, you have all of these different perspectives on your own life. Uh, you add a lot to this book, but then people like your contemporaries, uh, people who are influenced by you, friends of yours, family members. They're all throughout this book. Uh, was it interesting to see so many different viewpoints of who you are as a person? I didn't know at the time that our music had spread out that wide and all the way to California. Yeah. And people who played in Sublime and uh, eventually started the All-Stars group and people like this began to say, oh man, is, is HR going to show up tonight? <laughs> and uh, I had told, told the Bad Brains that I didn't want to be part of the commercializing of the music and so this way um, they understood me. Sure. Of course, they said it was inappropriate, and I could think of a better way or a better time to do that. And so um, they talked to me about the legacy and being on to pass it on, to take that from the youth and bring it back to the youth again. Near the end of the book, it says that uh, God wanted you to reform the bad brains. So can you tell me about what that experience was like when you knew you had to come back to this band that you helped start? Um, <clears throat> we had learned through the years that we were separated and had, the manager said, well, go out there and find yourself and do the things you want to do and come back and talk to us in a few years and see if you have something to write about, and I did. It also says that you believe that you may never take the stage with the bad brains again. Uh, do you f still feel that way? No, sir. No? Mm -mm. That's great. So you, you absolutely would like to get back on stage. I think we're going to get together as soon as possible. Oh, that's great. Uh, no plans yet, though? Just uh, an idea? Well, I was talking with the bass player, and we're looking at the fall and autumn, maybe. Mm -hmm. We'll do some rehearsals, rehearsing. Uh, a set list that they had wanted to play and I decided to go ahead and play it and with them. And, and it felt like the right thing to do? It. Yeah, it did. We were, um, at first, 
dismayed and disappointed in what we were doing, but uh, Daryl, the uh, bass player, had come to me on telephone, through the telephone, and said, well, I'm committed to you. And I said, well, I'm committed to you. And we were getting it together again. Great. Uh, when it comes to the whole discography of the Bad Brains, is there any uh, chapter of the band's history, because you had a lot of different shifts of genre, uh, is there any particular uh, chapter that you're most looking forward to revisiting on stage? Whew, that's a hard question. <laughs> I would say um, chapter 100 in the Holy Bible. <laughs> okay. Okay. That'll be interesting. Uh, so, you know, in the book it goes deeply into uh, your whole process of finding uh, the inner peace which is a great thing to read about. And it seems like you've hit a, a new stage of inner peace in your life very recently. Uh, is that accurate? And what can you tell me about this stage of your life right now? I would say I've grown. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank God I'm alive. Because some brothers that I know aren't alive anymore. My deepest condolences to them. And uh, this helped me to stay firm and uh, through the PMA, positive mental attitude, I was able to do just that. Great. Well, thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it so much. You're welcome. Finding Joseph I, the new book, pick it up, a great read. HR, everybody.